Hey, this is Kelly from the Dolly Rocks. This is Joe Queer from the infamous Queers. Hey, Sweetie P. Martini. Hey, this is Indica Flowers. And you are listening to Our Brains Hurt. Our Brains Hurt. Our Brains Hurt. Losers. Well, they needed a jingle for the stupid little show, so they caught up the Jasons and we said, oh, no. Then they caught us again and they gave us 20 bucks and we wrote them a song that said, You're back, back yes, sir. Then they gave us more money and they asked us really nice and we finally gave in and we said, All right, I'll write you a song, but it's gonna be a clone of a screeching weasel song that we heard a while ago. So we wrote them a jingle and it sounded really great. It was the best little jingle that their pockets ever had, but the file got corrupted and the email didn't work. Now they're stuck without a jingle singing, I agree. How does it feel to be talking to the 2023 fantasy football champion? Fuck you. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my God. And the man who's the only person to beat the champion the whole season. Yeah. <laughs> 15 and but one, baby. It didn't show for much, but I love being that one little notch. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I yeah. think I ended with a solid eight and eight, which is seven. which is just Dolphins mediocrity. You know, seven, seven and seven. Is that what it was? Or technically, if you count the play, uh, oh no, it was seven and seven because you you were the um you were the odd team out because four four teams finished at seven and seven, and the algorithm had you out. Fucking algorithm, yeah, Goddamn algorithm, man. Yep. And dude, and now like. I'm, I just have the NFL network on now. And like, dude, the dolphins are decimated, like with injuries right now. And I, dude, it's injury? almost laughable. Fucking Tyreek Hill's house caught on fire today. I saw that. I saw him out <laughs> standing outside with his girlfriend with his boot on. <laughs> you fucking his That's house. Crazy. Dude, this is just going to be a shit show end of the season. I know it. I can't believe I won. Um, I, dude, talk, talk about the, the most fucked up championship game where we both put up a solid no- amount yeah. of points too it was a great game i mean w- unfortunately one of us had to lose and fortunately yeah. it was you um, yeah. but... <laughs> <laughs> well i mean i'm the buffalo bills of our fantasy football <laughs> league so um <clears throat> my because my team turned to shit and wants the playoffs hit luckily that first like you said like the two of us got a buy and we would have yeah. both lost we would have both lost. I would have got destroyed. I had the lowest amount of points that week. Every every single team in the playoffs outscored both of us. Yeah. So without the bye week, we would have both lost in the first round. Yeah. Yeah. And the week after that, <laughs> my team wasn't that great. Luckily, the other it was worse. But like, I, I was like, I man, killed it in the in the second week of the yeah, playoffs. Yeah, you did. But it was still close. Because <sighs> I, I only won by two points. I, I can't believe I won that game. Yeah, that was crazy. Because that was probably the craziest playoff game. I won, I won, uh, what was it? Um, I think it was 159 to 157. Yeah. And that was the, that was the score going into the fourth quarter of the Monday night game. And Seth had Lamar Jackson. And so Lamar Jackson just had to score three more points in the fourth quarter. And he put up a goose egg in the fourth quarter. I was like, That's I'm crazy. done. This game's over. I was like, this That's game's crazy. over. I've lost. There's no way. Cause Jackson was playing well up until that point. Yeah. He didn't get a single more point the rest of the game. I don't know how the fuck that happened. Damn. And then, but then against you in the championship, fucking, I fucking injury reports, man. I picked up Khalil Herbert because all the other fucking Chicago running backs the week before were like out for one reason or another, yeah. and he put up twenty three points. And then like Deontay Foreman came back from some personal things or something, and yeah. then. He was the third man on the depth chart, and the entire world was like, "Oh, don't start Khalil Herbert. They're not yeah. going to give him the ball." And what does he do? He puts up fucking twenty three again, or whatever, <laughs> twenty two, twenty one. I would have won if I'd have played him. Yeah. <clears throat> and then Ivan Pacheco, who's one of my starters, who was out, he was in concussion protocol all week. He didn't practice at all. Nobody thought he was going to play, and then he fucking played, <laughs> and he puts up twenty seven. Yeah, he had a big game, dude. 
but they yeah. were also the four o'clock game. So like, what am I, all my other running backs were like one o'clock game. So what am I yeah. supposed to do there? Like just, right, right, right. just put him in and hope he plays, even though he was in yeah. concussion protocol all week. I was like, ah, oh, motherfucker. <laughs> yeah. I was, uh, I was in New York during the Thursday night game. I, and I had the Chargers defense because I, and then I put the Jets defense in. And for like 24 hours, I sat on it. I was like, you know what? These motherfuckers live to disappoint me. I'm not keeping the fucking Jets defense in. Fuck this. So I took them out. I put the Chargers back in, or I think I actually drafted the Packers and put them in. And then, like, it was like getting closer to game time. I was in New York watching the game with my family. I was like, you know, it would just be that much more fun to watch, to have something like. And, and, you know, the Jets got 24 points. I was feeling good. And I was like, all right, Saturday night, if the Cowboys can get me over 100 points, I'll feel great about this. And they did. I had, think I had like 104 going into Sunday. You know, 80. And then, like, and the fucking Broncos bench my fucking star quarterback, assholes. <laughs> <Dude>. <laughs> that is some of the craziest shit. Let's talk about that for a yeah. second. Russell Wilson has better stats this year than Patrick Mahomes does. It's fucking does he wild. really? He yeah. does. Wow. Yes. He's like, I mean, they're very similar, but he's been solid for me, man. He, he's like guaranteed 22 to 27 points every week. Yeah. So, so, so basically what the Broncos are doing is they're taking a 30, I think it's a 36 and a half million dollar dead cap hit next year. Mm -hmm. And then a 48 and a half million dead cap the following year. So they don't have wow. to pay him the rest of the guaranteed contract the year after that, which is like way more, like a whole bunch of money. Yeah. Um, but like they're dropping him now to do that. And the only reason they're not playing him the last two games, I guess they think they, they're not going to make the playoffs or something, but because if he gets injured in these last two games, mm -hmm. then they wouldn't be able to drop him or well, it, it, Yeah. Yeah, he gets injured unless they wouldn't be able to drop him before March or you know before the roster, his roster bonus shit kicks in or whatever, and then it would guarantee all the rest of his contract. That's so fucked, dude. So he, he it's this is this is Walmart football, guys. This is yeah. what happens when you let Walmart buy yeah. a football team. Shop smart. <clears throat> <laughs> this is Walmart crazy, football. Yeah. We're slashing prices left and right. Yeah. <laughs> the the um that yeah. whole heart of Walmart South Park episode really is ringing <laughs> more true than it ever has. Yeah. yeah, so he gets banned so I pick up their backup. And yes, the, and then yeah, and the backups like projected they're projecting him to get like 18 points or some shit, 17 points something. I'm like, "How? How the fuck is that?" I, I was like, "All right. So so then I took uh what's his name from Carolina. No, was it? No, no. It was. I had Carolina. I took a Hall or what's his name? You got the, you, you, you picked up the guy from uh, Minnesota that's playing for Minnesota. Yeah, yeah. And at four fifteen, okay. And and the the Broncos <laughs> game didn't start till four twenty five. Okay, at four fifteen, <clears throat> I switched. St I took Stidham out and I put in the 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 Vikings Hall. quarterback. Yeah. And they wouldn't let me do it. And I kept trying. I was like, the, the game's not starting for 10 more minutes. And they were like, no, it's locked in already. I must have missed it literally by seconds. And Hall got negative two. Yeah. And if Stidham <laughs> scored 17, I would have yeah. won. Yeah. I, <laughs> I would have won. Yeah. <laughs> I almost punted my phone across the, the living room when I, when I went from like 80% chance of winning to like in the red. <laughs> I, I was so fucking pissed. I was having a conversation with somebody and uh, we were laughing. It's not going to happen. But we're watching a playoff run with fucking Joe Flacco. And Super he's Bowl killing champion. it. Yeah. I mean, I mean, what a fucking year is it? dude? Like, is it 2005? Yeah, <laughs> like, <it> right. <laughs> feels a lot like 2005 right now. Joe Flacco. Joe Flacco. <laughs> Hun. But Punk Rock, shout out, because this past weekend on uh, the 30th, so not New Year's Eve, um, Matt threw a show in Richmond at Bandito's, and my God, was that fucking show epic. Like, everyone Fuck and their mother showed up. That place yeah. was packed to the fucking gills. 
Nice. All five bands rocked. The, the first band, it was like their first show ever. Mm-hmm. And like the place was packed for them. Nice. And they Love were that. good. Yeah. And uh, like the whole entire evening, everyone was in that room for all five bands and just like rocking out while the band was awesome. one of One of the most killer like local shows. I, nice. If you can even call it that, because, you know, a couple of bands were from Maryland. So, but, and Paperback Tragedy has you know they fested and stuff yeah. so i don't know if you can Fuck read it. yeah <laughs> <laughs> but yeah <clears throat> good time although nice somebody at that place got everyone sick so oh yeah <laughs> patient one mm-hmm. yeah <laughs> yeah red's been like bedridden for two days damn <laughs> the drummer from paperback tragedy i know has been bedridden they actually had to play an acoustic set last night because he he was so sick he couldn't oh, i saw a video of that i was wondering what they were doing i don't know uh, whoever thanks thanks <laughs> to whoever was sick and showed up to that show thank you you you're, you're, you're to make sure there wasn't a mets fan there true here oh yeah. <laughs> <laughs> true here oh i got the hiv <laughs> That's your that's your little taste of Florida right there. So if you can't handle that, don't even cross the border. The flu this year does not look fun. <clears throat> no, I never had the flu. Uh, no, I'll get it tomorrow. I've had it very. Out. There's, I don't know. There's something going around right now. Whether it's the flu or COVID, which is basically the same thing at this point. I do uh, get the flu vaccine every year. I think the flu is worse than COVID. Yeah, well, it is now. That's for sure. Happy holidays, happy new year, Merry Christmas. Yeah, man. Yeah, bitching. It's been fucking cold down. Well, cold by Florida, Florida standards. Yeah. But. Well, like like 60s. Hey, it was like 54 this morning. Oh shit. Oh. oh. Yeah. Oh. I only have half a jacket, so <laughs> you, ju- you just you just shiver through it until it gets back to normal. It usually doesn't last this long. Is that your sexy crop top jacket? <laughs> it was you're not supposed to tell the people about that <laughs> <laughs> that was between you and i it was it was 23 here this morning damn yeah that's not enough degrees travis's uh crop top jacket is in my rolodex in my beatbox <laughs> you, <laughs> you are my sole only fans member <laughs> <laughs> And by Rolodex, I mean I just have that picture a hundred times. <laughs> well, it's, it's really it's the Italian version of OnlyFans. It's like oh, only yeah. Gabagool. Only <laughs> yes. I'm I'm just only getting naked. <laughs> just yeah, just getting naked eating cured meats. <laughs> He's got super sod on his nipples. <laughs> I bought I I just ordered a keychain from uh hardcore Italians. You follow them, Travis? Uh, on Instagram, yeah, yeah, the uh, the Malocchio, the oh no, anti evil, <laughs> yeah, that's what I try to do to field cold kickers when uh, <laughs> I need them to miss. Sometimes it works. <laughs> who do you th- who do you think your uh, your Dolphins are going to see in the first round? There, this is a, the the AFC uh, playoffs are just wide open still. Oh. Dude, I, this is, I don't know, bro. Like, if we can actually somehow pull one over on Buffalo this weekend, I with all the injuries, it's not looking good. Um, but with that being said, we play very well at home. Mm. Uh, fuck Buffalo and fuck Josh Allen. I can't. I don't know. It. I mean, could be the no. Jack. It depends what the seed is. I mean, it, it's most likely probably going to be something like the Jags. Yeah, y'all see. Um... <laughs> Y'all see the, the craziness. I mean, I know you have to, but the craziness at the end of the uh, Lions Cowboys game. Oh, oh, dude. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> dude, that's fucking, that's just fucking unreasonable. The NFL did say that they're demoting that team of refs and they will not be refing in the playoffs. I did see that. Wow. <laughs> Which is okay. I mean, that, good job, NFL, for once, I guess, but like, man. Maybe if you had full time refs, shit like this wouldn't happen. I heard they, uh, I heard they named that crew the Angel Hernandez. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but fuck it, let's just bring Angel Hernandez over to the NFL. <laughs> this is the kind of shit that's going to happen. Might as well have him here too. Isn't he dead oh, now? No, no. Oh, 
or just retired? <laughs> He's retired though, right? No, I don't. I don't think so. No, he was He's still. still umping He's this, still umping. No shit. Just passing. I think you're yeah. thinking of Joe West. Joe West. Oh retired. yeah, I'm thinking of Joe West. Yeah, that's right. Yeah, I I, I thought it was funny that um, because Angel Hernandez was suspended for how many was how many games was it this past baseball season? It wasn't long enough for what he uh for being shitty last year, <laughs> like really really bad. Yeah, but I want to say it was like the first half of the season, yeah. and shockingly. Um, even though, even though there was like 23,000 missed balls and strikes called this year. And, and so stupid. Yeah. 23,000. <laughs> it's, it's, it's my favorite sport and they can't even fucking get it yeah. right. It's old. It's as old as the country and they're still getting it wrong. But that was the least amount that they've missed in, I think it was like since, since, uh, this century. All right, that's pretty good. Then. All right. You think they're going to eventually do away with that? Probably. Um, but, calling balls and strikes. But I also find it funny that they had the, the least amount of missed balls and strikes this century, the season that Angel Hernandez missed half of. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Coincidence? I don't think so. No. <laughs> no, I've, I've seen I, that. I'm telling you, man, I would just take that fucking box away from the TV. I know you guys don't agree with me on that, but I would do away with all fucking instant replay. Yeah, and just go back to like, just when, back to like the 1920s when shit was just wild. Hell yeah, hell yeah. Ty Cobb fucking spiking dudes in the groin. Fuck yeah. Pulling a knife on a, a guy. I want to see. I want to see dudes get injected with growth hormone in the ass as they're walking up to bat. <laughs> and I want to do that if the, if that job has an opening. I'm like the human growth hormone thing. Versus like steroids, I guess, right? Because it's two different things, right? Yeah. HGH kind of, is yeah. HGH considered a steroid? I feel like it's not. It's not. Why? Why not let people use the one that makes them heal faster? Because like <clears throat> you're, you're. I feel like you're doing a disservice to the fans by not allowing your best players to, you know, to come back faster. From injuries, potentially, they could use, they could do that in the NFL, right? They could use they use HGH in the NFL, right? I don't know. Or is that illegal? I haven't heard anything about that in the NFL in a long time. Uh, I, <clears throat> but it, if there's something out there that allows your players to heal faster, but maybe doesn't, yeah, I, I don't know how much performance enhancing, you know, HGH actually is, but I feel like. It's not going to make guys hit home runs more like steroids. It's at least the way that I've no, and that, and that's what I feel about cocaine too. Like they should just be able to like <laughs> get a double header, man. You know, you're flying across the country. We can't, we can't have Lawrence Taylor's running all over. The get field. some of that booger sugar and fucking. So I'm, uh, <laughs> you're on inning eighteen of a double header and you're fucking <laughs> walling out. <laughs> so I'm always that's like, how the Mets won in '86. <laughs> cocaine was their fucking starting yeah. pitcher. Daryl Strawberry, not good. Yeah, that's why I'm always like people talk about, you know, Lawrence Taylor being one of the best linebackers in NFL history. I'm like, nah, it was cocaine. It was. Man. <laughs> it, was it was it was LT and Columbia. Like he was a beast, <laughs> but he was a beast because he was coked out. <laughs> Hell yeah. Oh. Yeah, it should oh, all yeah. be legal. It yeah. should all be legal. Every sport. Yeah, that was coke that did that fucking compound fracture on Joe Theismann's leg. Oh God! Oh, one of the gnarliest. I still, Ugh. I still can't believe, and I've read them on the sports on this podcast before, so I'm not going to do it again. But I still cannot believe the similarities between Joe Theismann and Alex Smith's injury. Crazy! It's yeah. stupid. It's it's, it's ridiculous. I mean, it's down down to like the same yard line on the same That's side so of the nuts. field. Yeah, yeah, on the same date. You know, <laughs> it's crazy. Alex Smith probably found that out, and then he's like, "Fuck this, I'm retiring." Yeah, yeah. he's like, he's like, he's Why? like, he, yeah. <laughs> Nobody told me that before this game, motherfucker. <laughs> my, like, my I'm, favorite, I'm out. Cut my favorite losses. thing that season was was that uh, everyone in the NFL thought that Alex Smith unanimously unanimously thought that Alex Smith should have won Comeback Player of the Year, except for Pittsburgh Steelers fans. 
who thought <laughs> Ben Roethlisberger should have won it. Well, they're fucking they're on coke. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> What's the gnarliest sports Im- sports injury you've ever seen live? Ooh, uh, Dak Prescott was pretty bad. Which what was that? That was the one where he broke his his leg in half, and he like held it up to show the people, Wait, like right after were, he did it. <laughs> you were at that game? Oh no no no! I was watching. I, don't it mean, live on I TV. mean, like on TV too. Like oh, I saw like, like watching a game and you see it happen. And, and I saw the person. Alex Smith and the Joe Theismann ones. So. Yeah, that's pretty uh, bad. The one, the one for the dude from the Boston Celtics, um, like not that long ago, had a gnarly one like that where he picked his leg up and it was just like hanging like an L. I, but I've like live, so not like seen the replay of it. You're talking about at the time you watched. It. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Nick Chubbs was pretty bad this year too. Yeah, I wasn't watching that game. But I, yeah, yeah, I watched it. Um, I mean, I was watching the Bills game with Demar Hamlin. Uh, yeah, where he just died. Yeah, he pretty much stood up and died. That was that was a close second to Dak Prescott's leg. Well, there's that meme I sent to the to our little group chat today that I know Travis laughed at. I don't know if you saw that one, Ron. Yeah, yeah. No. I chuckled. It, it's like a little thing for NFL comeback player of the year, and it's a picture of um <laughs> Joe Hamlin Flacco and, and Joe Flacco in a Jets. You know, oh, I, yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. <laughs> it says Demar Hamlin. <laughs> Died on the field. Joe Flacco used to play for the Jets, so pretty much the same as dying on the field. <laughs> <laughs> They're going to send us the sensitivity training. I know it. <laughs> What's that? Yeah, I don't know. We're not. We're not going to find out. <clears throat> well, good. Good for so, Demar Hamlin to make a massive comeback like that. So your injury is which one? Gnarliest. I would have to say Dak because he it was broken so bad he lifted it up and he was basically like like a child he had like a child's like fear he like lifted his leg up it was yeah. dangling and he I had this that. look on his face like fuck oh my god and so you know I can't cry to over spill cows but it was still pretty bad yeah uh, for me it was the final four of 2013 Kevin Ware from Louisville snapped his fucking leg do you remember that. I'm a college basketball fanatic, so like, I remember it. I remember it. I and I remember the the reactions of the players. People were falling over, yeah, and like puking. And he lifted it, his leg, snapped. True, I remember this from the on like sideways, like just oh my, it was so gnarly, dude. That's that was the other one I was going to mention. I just didn't couldn't remember what it was. I was like, yeah. I knew it was a college basketball one, but there was there was a panther. I can't fucking remember right now. There was a Panther, I think it was a la- Florida Panther, last season, and he slid into the boards. I don't know if it was Ekba. I forget who it was. He got he slid into the boards, and his skate got jammed up in the boards, Ooh. and like the it was a uh, yeah the knee exploded, and oh, he, the he, knees uh, the knees are and like you know like knees. hockey when the arena gets quiet you can hear everything. Well, this yeah. dude was just screaming, and I was like. Damn. My God, dude. Yo, it was ugly. For a hockey player to be screaming. Yeah. Oh, I'm just <laughs> yeah, that, that oh, I, I'm just re-watching the other one that I saw live too, which is the Gordon Hayward one for the Boston Celtics. What and, happened uh, with that? Oh, it's the same kind of thing as like the college basketball one. Oh, ugh. Oh, ugh. seriously, just just type it in Gordon Hayward breaks leg. Dude, and and like you you can see, I just watched it again. Everyone he he lands after coming down for the ball. And then he turns his legs towards the the sideline, and everyone in that corner of the stadium just like, it's like ah, ah. <laughs> yeah, yeah. It's 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 an early one. I was watching that one live though. Damn, there was one. This was several years ago. I think Jose Fernandez was still live on the Marlins. Mm. And they had a relief pitcher, uh, Dan Jennings, and he throws a fastball, and it was like a hundred plus off the bat, and it comes right back and hits him in the head, and he. Ugh. He's still like like on his knees, but the lights are out. Like the lights are out, dude. That, that was one. And that That's and Giancarlo scary. getting hit in the face. Like that shit was pretty fucking scary yeah. too. Mike Messina. I I remember I was watching that game when Mike Messina got hit in the face when he was on the Orioles, mm. and it fucking destroyed his whole face. Yeah, yeah. That was scary. That was a bad one, dude. The, this past season, um, fuck, what was the guy's name? Is it a rookie pitcher for the Nationals? Um, he's a he was a guy that was a first round pick who injuries derailed his career. He ended up on our 
roster and you know five years later he's finally pitching his first game in the majors mm-hmm. um he took a fucking ball off the head this year and the fucking and and i think it ended up being a base hit or it was either a base <laughs> hit or the fucking outfielder caught it like he yeah he's coming back hits him in the in like the side back of the head and fucking flies way off into fucking right field and he was when completely was- fine he stayed in the game when I was in high school, there was a, a varsity high school game that my uh, Arundel High School played, and there was a ball that was hit. It hit the pitcher in the forehead, and it was, ended up being a home run. <laughs> Holy shit! <laughs> what the fuck <laughs> was? Did he, did he? Uh, I assume he got hurt. He was okay because it, it barely yeah. like it, it hit him just enough to like raise the trajectory of the ball. <laughs> that must yeah. have been a fucking missile. <laughs> Dude for the Nationals this year finished the game. He he pitched like yeah, fucking four more crazy. innings. After I guess it, it, happened, it gets yeah. that angle, like that lucky angle where it's like not direct. You know, like I don't know if he gets assists, maybe like a half a point. I used to tell I used to tell girls that was like, yeah, I look this way because of a, a baseball injury. I took a ball in the face, but uh, <laughs> it I'm just ugly. <laughs> <laughs> I took eight hundred Twinkies to the mouth. Yeah, that's what it was. That was my sports injury. <laughs> the funniest sports injury ever had to be Gus Ferrat from the Redskins celebrating a touchdown and hitting his head into the wall and jamming his neck. <laughs> I know, Matt. I know you remember that shit. Oh, yeah. That's yeah. legendary. Oh, no. So it wasn't. <laughs> it wasn't. Um, it wasn't a hit. It was the it was the catcher trying to throw a dude out at second. That's what it was. Yep. Feeling yep. and the Nats pitcher bent down and hit him in the head and flew out into the fucking right field. <laughs> That's awesome. The Dan Jennings one that I was talking about from the Marlins, it hit off his head. It went like 40 feet in the air, and D Gordon was playing middle infield and he caught it for an out. Yeah. Awesome. <laughs> Meanwhile, his pitching his pitcher's having like a damn stroke on the pitching pitcher's mound, dude. It was wild. Look it up. It was wild. Oh, What's Ron, that? that Gus Farad injury. Going back to that. That that's oh, classic. like epic, just classic <laughs> fucking so Gus embarrassing. Farad. That that uh, for all effective purposes or all intensive purposes ended his career with Washington. That might have been more embarrassing than the butt fumble. If there is a play in, in NFL history that's more embarrassing than the butt fumble, it's that one. I don't know if it if it I I would still I think I'd still vote the butt fumble as the most embarrassing NFL play in the history of the NFL. You know what? You know what sucks is I cannot find the replay of the butt fumble too when Sanchez had the exact same thing happen to him when he came and played for Washington for like those five games. <laughs> the only thing worse than one butt fumble is two butt fumbles. Mm-hmm. And he the mm-hmm. same guy fucking twice. Same dude. What a bizarre play. I I you know. It's... And and Mark Sanchez has gone on to become probably the worst sports commentator <laughs> in modern history. It's pretty bad. <laughs> Keeps getting worse for this like, guy. Like, holy fuck, dude. Like, do at least a little bit of homework before you yeah. go into these games. But the, the best part is, is, you know, you see all these guys coming in now who are like, you know, predicting plays. Mm-hmm. And yeah. And you even have all these ex quarterbacks, you know, on like YouTube and stuff, sitting down with people who who are doing the same thing, watching film or whatever. Sanchez tries to do it on national broadcasts; he's wrong every time. Yeah. <laughs> like, no wonder you couldn't cut it as a quarterback, dude. You can't read a defense worth yeah. shit. I, blame, I probably uh, can read a defense better than that motherfucker can. Like, <laughs> I blame what's his name, the fucking dickhead coach of the Seahawks. Pete Carroll. Pete Carroll. I blame him. Sneaky Pete. I fucking hate Pete Carroll. You know, you blame Pete Carroll for Mark's. Oh, because yeah. he was the coach of USC. Yeah, 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 yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah. And I hate Pete Carroll. So we it's 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 hard to forgive a guy that was on the one yard line with Marshawn Lynch in the backfield yep. and he decided to throw the fucking ball. <laughs> like, uh, dude, Marshawn Lynch is one of my favorite football players of all time. I fucking love that dude. On and off the field, he's he's just the best. And you have he's that a dude, national treasure. He's a yeah. national treasure. And you have that dude in your backfield on the one yard line. Like that was easy. In his prime at that. In his fucking prime. That was the only time in the history of Ron Sacoccio that I was so excited and happy for a Patriots win. 
because that's how much I fucking hate Pete Carroll. And I, was, I wanted I, the Patriots to win. I was also super stoked that the Patriots yeah. won that game. I fucking hated Seattle at that time. Yeah, I was not as happy as you guys. Fucking hate Pete Carroll. I really, think he I fucking just, killed. He fucked USC and then he left. And I, fuck that guy. Man. I, I don't hate Pete Carroll as much as you. I hate Russell Wilson. <laughs> He's my. I uh, I just I cannot stand. Him. That's my boy, man. Fifteen and one, baby. <laughs> Ron Ron's like, let's ride. To fuck yeah, I would I would yeah that's, I would I would jerk him off while he's saying let's ride. That's the worst fucking catchphrase of all time. That is so it, painfully so fuck. It's so painfully <laughs> Caucasian. Like that's what you came he's, up with. Let's fucking ride. let's ride. Like he's Jesus. so fucking corny. God damn yeah. it! It pissed me off so bad. And clearly. His own teammates seem to not like him very much. <laughs> Anyone who coins their own catchphrase, I can't take that shit seriously. Yeah. Like, yeah. Are they out of the playoffs? No. That, or did they win last week? If they won this past week, they're they're not out of the playoffs. You're in the, the Stidham game. Did they win that game? I don't remember. I don't remember either. Yeah, the um the Jaguars, Bills, and Colts all ho- hold their own destiny right now if all three of those teams win they're all in and that rounds out the playoff because nice. ravens dolphins chiefs and browns have already clinched yep jaguars bills and colts all win they're in and that's that and the steelers and the texans are still outside and uh and mike tomlin got got it done he still will not have a losing record <laughs> the, That's the crazy. Steelers are sitting at nine and seven right now. So, yeah, it's wild. Steelers fans are calling for his fucking firing, which is crazy. Like, it is crazy. The motherfucker has never had a losing season. He has been their coach for like twenty years. <laughs> you think who's the best? What's the best franchise in NFL? In the NFL, I would say like, the Steelers. Like, like really, Steelers fans, you want yeah. this dude to be fired? What happens if your new coach comes in and he's fucking terrible? <laughs> if you were if you were from another planet and you landed here one day and you had a choice between who would you pick as your NFL team? If you had no fucking bias, you didn't grow up, you just kind of appear here. Not the fucking Bills. What? <laughs> Not the Jets. <laughs> you don't know that. <laughs> Not the Patriots. I mean, you just look at those people that are surrounding those teams, and I'll be like, ah, oh, fucking, those aren't my people. Yeah. I mean, logo and name at that point would come into it. Yeah. You know what? Honestly, I'd probably go Cowboys. That's a shame. I know. <laughs> <laughs> you kind of look like a Cowboys fan. I had to hold back so much just to say it's a shame. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, you could have said you could have said Eagles. That would have been yeah, the Eagles. The Eagles are kind of maybe cool the Eagles. Okay, okay, maybe the Eagles. <laughs> what do you can't? I don't know the cat. Cow. Jerry Land, Jerry Jones, the Star. Come on, fuck man. Jerry Jones, dude. I would fuck him. I'm that kind of, old fucking <laughs> hag. I'm kind of a weird person, so I'd probably like look through all the names and be like, that team's orange and they're called the Browns. I'm gonna follow them. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, I think I'd be a Cowboys fan if I could do it all over again. But I'm a Jet fan, and we peaked in 1969. So, <laughs> <laughs> I mean, the Titans is a pretty cool name. I would probably take that into consideration. Oh, Titans. Yeah. I'm having a hard time playing this game. <laughs> <laughs> I'm I'm brand loyal. I was so close to becoming a Dolphins fan, dude, because I I was so in love with Dan Marino. I wish I would have fucking. Up and out, baby. Up I had out. like these. I had these like white dolphin shorts when I was a kid. Like these sweat shorts. They were white and they had the dolphins logo on the left leg. They were fucking tight as shit, dude. <clears throat> Best release of any quarterback in NFL history. I'll tell you that. So right quick. Now. Yeah. So yeah. fucking quick. Insane. I, I don't understand how. <laughs> nobody. Nobody understands how he did it. Plus, he was in Ace Ventura. It was, it was, it wasn't Jim Carrey's. It was Dan Marino's Ace Ventura Peck Detective. Fuck yeah. Did anybody see the um the thing recently with because you know Dan's still pretty heavily involved with with the Dolphins and everybody on the team calls him Uncle Dan. Oh really? <laughs> yeah, yeah. And he was standing on the sidelines of Mike McDaniel. There, some record had flashed up on one of the jumbotron, 
and and Dan was standing over there in his in his uh, Hall of Fame jacket. I mean, I, I, apparently him and Mike McDaniel are pretty good friends at mm. this point. And Mike McDaniel comes walking up behind him like he's not even paying attention. He's like, he looks up at whatever record they're flashing. Marino's kind of smiling. He's like, fuck you, Dan. Fuck <laughs> you, Dan. <laughs> he's, and he says something about them going to beat his record or something like that. And you can just see all the players standing next to Dan yeah. Marino and Dan just kind of start laughing. <laughs> it's a good thing going on in Miami there. It's a good thing. Although, although I got to say about Miami. <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> Listening to Tua talk to people, <laughs> he is also kind of a little bit corny. <laughs> oh yeah, dude, he's he's, he's a cheese he's a cheese bag. He uses fam way too much. Hawaiians are morons. <laughs> <Yeah>. Sorry, Hawaii. <laughs> Hawaiians are the dumbest people. <laughs> he uses he on uses... the fucking planet. <laughs> he, like They're... every t- every time he walks into the huddle, he's like, "All right, fam." I'm like, "Come uh, on." Let, let me explain this. Their bus, their their uh, their bus system, their public bus bus system, it's called the bus. D A B U S is on the back of the buses. The bus, bus brother. <laughs> you the kind. They're yeah. the dumbest people on the planet. And um, the whole, the whole I would say I love you, but go fuck yourselves, Hawaiians. <laughs> I don't have any information to to counter this, so I'm just gonna go ahead and go with you. I live there. Oh, okay, yeah, yeah. yeah. Oh, yeah, that's there. right. The whole the whole ghost kneecaps. Yeah, they, yeah. They do not yeah. like foreigners there. They don't. Or or like or just mainlanders. No, they don't. Or, like, or anybody really. Or howlies, howlies. Yeah, howlies. Yeah, yeah. The fucking howlies. But if they like you, you know, they'll get used to that. You the kind, bro. You the kind. I'm a little biased because one of them was fucking my wife at the time, so you know. <laughs> Um, oh yeah, I feel a certain kind of way about that. Yeah, as that'll well. do it to you. Yeah. All right, fuck the Hawaiians, man. Ex wife. Well, yeah, your your ex wife, your ex wife. Ex. Oh yeah, ex wife, ex wife. That kneecapless bitch. Hell yeah, man. She got her <laughs> fucking my uh, great grandfather broke those kneecaps from heaven, baby. <laughs> Is she still in Hawaii? No, she's here. She's in Virginia. Oh well, we we can get her out if you want. She's all right. We're, we're we're friends now. As long as we're not married, we're okay. We can, yeah, I'll drag her. She got her. She got hers. She got hers. Yeah, I'll drag her. Her kneecaps broken. <laughs> I'll drag her ass to West Virginia. <laughs> but those motherfuckers deal with it. She can go live out there with the yeah. whites. <laughs> <laughs> Fucking dude, that's the craziest Xanax. Shit. <laughs> yeah. Have you seen those the, that documentary? The whites, of course, of the course. Wonderful whites yeah. of West Virginia. It's Matt, have so you seen that? Fucked up, dude. When that fucking dude is like flinging his dick in his grandmother's, yeah. his grandmother's face. Yeah, they, that's some crazy <laughs> shit, man. Like the wonderful whites of West Virginia, dude. And yeah. when they're like giving the kids like Xanax and shit, I'm like, this is really fucked up. Like these are like that young kids, nuts, dude. Yeah. It, it's really fu- I, that that documentary kind of like disturbed me a little bit. It is disturbing from from a guy who has logged some time in his life in West Virginia. Um, this this kind of behavior is not solely the the whites in West Virginia. <laughs> there is a West lot Virginia. of motherfuckers who do shit very similar to that. It's Dude. name every last name in West Dude, Virginia. <laughs> when they say there is a meth problem in West Virginia, there is a fucking meth yeah. problem in West Virginia. Like eighty percent of the people in West Virginia do meth. Honestly, that's it, like when when I was looking at colleges for my daughter, I was that was a main concern of mine was. Because she was looking at West Virginia University. Morgantown's all right. Like if it was if, gross. Morgantown, Morgantown was is gross. the best place in West Virginia. And it was still gross. <laughs> yeah, it is the it is the best place in West Virginia. If I, I remember, if I remember, if I remember yeah. this one scene, they pull up to like a Taco Bell and one of these fucking invalids were like, you got onion rings? And they're like, no. And they like fucking Just- Taco Bell? God. <laughs> Dude, it's it's made me. I saw it like ten years ago. I've been mad That's ever awesome. since. That's so funny, dude. Like, like, have you ever been to a coastal state in the United States? I mean, technically, West Virginia. It's somewhat of a coastal state. There's one state in between the coast, yeah. and it, right? So it's like on the coast. Yeah. Have you, like, have you ever been to any state period that doesn't have an international airport? No, no. Let alone a coast. Yeah. West Virginia doesn't. Yeah, even Kentucky does. Kentucky, yeah. Louisville has one. Yeah, yeah. West Virginia doesn't. 
West Virginia doesn't even have a giant main airport. Like, like Morgantown, West Virginia is the largest city in West Virginia. The fucking airport that's there is like this little tiny rinky dink. Fucking yeah, that you can get yeah. flights to like maybe the next state over, and that's it. Yeah, yeah, it's like hang gliders. Yeah, we're trying to sweep those guys under the rug. The West Virginia <laughs> is a fucking wild place. Like. Like I, I joke going up to Maine with Red. I joke about like Maine, like mm-hmm. Maine and West Virginia are very fucking similar. Just Maine is opioids, West Virginia is meth or whatever. But even <laughs> Maine has some giant ass fucking airports. Yeah, totally. Yeah. Yeah. West Virginia, no fucking airports. <laughs> it's got moth, man. Yeah. Yeah. I, I I just had to laugh because everybody at work today was like freaking out about the snow this weekend. And no, so it's gonna be I, rain here. Yeah. I immediately turned my app on to where you know I follow the more superior <laughs> weather, <laughs> yeah, the, the the European model or whatever. And I just had to chuckle to myself. I was yeah. like, all these motherfuckers are gonna go spend so much fucking money on bread and milk. <laughs> okay, let me let me can we what, talk about what... the bread, milk, and fucking <laughs> toilet paper thing. <laughs> let me explain. So, Travis, I know you're in Florida. Okay, I live in Maryland. Okay. I've been in this area since I was in fifth grade. Never, ever, 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 ever has there been more than like, has there been so much snow that I couldn't get out of yeah. the house and to a grocery store in less than two days? Yeah. Or two or two days at the most. Yeah. Every time there's going to be a snowstorm, people buy milk and toilet paper and bread and bread. What? <laughs> does snow give these people the shits i don't understand what is happening <laughs> no i you know what's happening this is the power of television the, the 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 tv tells these people that that's what they have to do every time it's gonna snow and i swear to god you go to the giant across the street from my house every time i guarantee you, you go in there right now the fucking bread aisle bread aisle is fucking yeah. bread milk toilet paper Oh my God, it's going to snow on Saturday. We have to buy all the fucking bread. Ah! Listen, yeah, if you don't buy the milk, you're not going to need the toilet paper, people. Okay, that's how it works. Yeah. Well, and buy the bread. Buying milk, anyways. What the fuck is milk going to do for you? No, all you need is bread, candy, and booze. I'm, I'm that's telling you, you I, I, this, is, this is another one of my conspiracy theories that is definitely fucking true. <laughs> the, the dairy industry. And the fucking weather industry, <laughs> the weather are industry. in on this shit together to <laughs> start their bed. fucking products. <laughs> I'm telling, dude, I we've we've already talked about the milk thing, the dairy thing. This is a long time yeah. standing thing that the U.S. government and the fucking Dairy Association of fucking America have pushed their product for them by doing stuff like this. This is a proven thing. It's real. The U.S. government pays paid for all the got milk ads that was funded yeah. by the U.S. government. That's it is true. That's, that's not true. a lie. That's the truth. Yeah. It's the same shit. They're they're pushing these products because these fucking these uh, these industries lobby the government to do so. This is when <laughs> Travis tries to slowly back away from the yeah. podcast. No, dude, no. I just you guys would just never make it in Florida. Like <laughs> you get a snowstorm every now and then, and people freak out. You don't understand down here, dude. Like a dude farts in the Bahamas. The meteorologist talks about it. All the gas is gone. Like the gas is gone. <laughs> the water's gone. It's. I mean, it's a third world country. Like, dude, these people that like, because no one, no one that actually lives in the state was actually born here. Like, yeah, very, very, very few. It's so God's like, waiting room. It's all old people. It is, dude. And um, like, I was down here for like, I was in, I was north of it, but like, I remember like Andrew when I was a kid. Mm, and like yeah. that was an actual storm yeah. and then like a few years ago we had that category five it was a four or five i think it was dorian it just sat over the bahamas for like two days and then went north but we thought it was gonna come right at us dude you should have seen these fucking people trying to leave the state i was yeah i ne- wouldn't leave no fuck no this is my house like i'm yeah. staying at my house like mm-hmm. people get yeah. always give me shit about that that don't live here i'm like no this is my fucking house yeah and oh, yeah. um there I'm needs to be like a form. There needs to be a form. If you want to live in this fucking state, you have to go for at least a category three hurricane and yeah. you have to sit there with your little feelings and shit. But <laughs> I do 
I'd do it just as long as there's no trees near my house that I think would fall on my house because that's the shit that gets me here in Virginia. But you guys don't have like giant ass fucking trees and woods down there near houses like we do unless. Yeah. No, we cut them all, all down. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Because or the or the hurricanes take them down. <laughs> yeah. We're, no, we're just we're just building up. We're running out of room. The state's full. Like, we don't have any more trees. We don't have birds. <laughs> I, I would totally stay, dude. I'd totally stay with you. Like, yeah. I'd be that guy. You know that that video of the dude in the hurricane shirtless with the American flag the and the American flag that's it. in the middle of the street. Yeah. That would be me. Fuck that's what I would do. Thinks, yeah. Everyone laughs and thinks that's crazy. Everything down here, all new builds, especially like the house we're in. It's it's CBS with hurricane windows. It's a fucking fortress. Like, it, it it's it's not going anywhere. So it's like, it's stupid to leave. And with that one yeah. big storm with everyone trying to leave, people were fucking getting stranded on the highway. Yeah. Right? Like, it's so now you're fucking staying back. Yeah. It's so stupid. Car. Yeah. It's so stupid, <laughs> yeah. but it is also, uh, thankfully natural selection. If that storm did come, yep. you know, traffic would be great. Survival of the fittest. Yep. That's do, it. Do you guys do basements in Florida? I can't remember. I don't think no, we, right we can't here. have basements. You don't no. right. Yeah. You dig six inches, you get water. Yeah, okay. Yeah. That makes sense. I, I I would miss a good basement. I, I'm a I'm a big basement fan. Us, I mean, the us Virginians, right we all have basements. And uh, speaking of which, Ron, I, I can't remember the last time somebody took points and the championship. Oh yeah. It's happened before. I just can't. It's been a long time. I'm telling you, this is a weird year for me because like I've never ever won anything. Cool. <laughs> <laughs> like earlier this year, I I like that no effects fucking picture up there. Like there were there was one hundred of them that were signed by all the members of no effects that they were just randomly sending out if you bought them. And I I got one there. It's signed by all of them and the, and the artist the picture. Holy um, shit! Which is in my will for Matt. <laughs> <if I die. laughs> So so that's Matt. When I die, that's good Matt. Thing to be right. <laughs> I, fast forward all the way to this part. Playoffs are coming soon. Yes. <laughs> we're gonna have to assume we're gonna have to have um well, we're, I guess after the Super Bowl, we'll have the recap of our predictions from the beginning of the season. Oh, oh yeah, you jotted it all down, didn't you? Yeah, I got it all. Mine mine were so wrong. Well, the Giants well, did the win the East. That's <laughs> <laughs> I think mine could still come to fruition. I forgot what I said. I think it was I said Eagles Dolphins, right? To the Super Bowl? I think. Yeah, yours isn't gonna come to fruition. The, You're the, not gonna come to fruition. The the Eagles, <laughs> the Eagles are not making it out of the No, dude. Round. They're having a rough bout right now. Dude. Yeah. They're they're their true colors are shining through. You're smiling. You're so happy. I am. I don't care that my commanders suck. It, right, you know, right now, you know, the commanders. If the season ended right now, we would have the second overall pick in the draft. Yeah, Travis, you had the Dolphins over the Eagles. Yeah, that ain't gonna happen. Yeah, Dolphins over the Niners, maybe. No, but, not uh, dude. We've got to get healthy quick in order to. But there's win a playoff game. There's that. There's the Super. Matt, Bowl. You have the Bills beating the 49ers in the Super Bowl. That ain't happening either. That still could happen. That still That's not going to happen. happen. <laughs> the um, did you see the um, the whole thing about the the Super Bowl logo and the colors? Yeah. No. No. What was it? So the last the last three seasons, because the Super Bowl logo comes out well before the mm-hmm. the Super Bowl is determined. The last three seasons, uh, the colors on the Super Bowl logo have all been colors of the two teams that went to the Super Bowl. No shit. Yeah, mm-hmm. beforehand, dude, it's wild. Yeah. Wow. And this year, and this year, the colors are fucking purple and red, Ravens and Niners. Look, I hate. That. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, it probably is going to be that though. Oh. Both of those teams are extremely good. Aaron, yeah. Aaron Rodgers brought that up on Pat McAfee the other day, along he, along he, with starting some uh, some massive uh, fucking. Beef again with Jimmy Kimmel. <laughs> he said Jimmy Kimmel was on Epstein's plane. Well, he, yeah. all right, see, he didn't. He didn't say Jimmy Kimmel was on Epstein's plane. So his his exact quote was That's just that, so funny. The the list of people were were about to be released, and, and he said he said I know some people out there are sweating about that list being released, like Jimmy Kimmel and 
<laughs> I'm gonna go. I'm gonna go ahead and make it official. Um, I'm like 98 percent sure. Like Josh Allen and Sean McDermott took a trip over there. Oh hell yeah! <laughs> but then, but then Jimmy Kimmel fired back at him on Twitter or X. Yeah, he's gonna like sue him. Well, he yeah, he, he threatened to sue him. I don't blame him, dude. That's some fucked up shit to just here, say. Here it is, right here. Whatever. Jimmy Kimmel's probably on that list, honestly. Yeah. But yeah. <laughs> here's here's what Jimmy Kimmel said. Dear asshole, for the record, I've not <laughs> met, flown with, visited, or had any contact whatsoever with Epstein. Epstein. That sounds like something a guy who'd been on that plane would say. <laughs> it's, it's, it's like the guy who killed his wife. I didn't kill my wife. <laughs> nor yeah, nor, I think nor he did kill his wife. Nor will you find my name on any list other than the clearly phony nonsense that soft brain wackos like yourself can't seem to distinguish from reality. Ooh, there's some Your reckless words that. put my family in danger. Keep it up and we'll debate the facts further in court. Can I, can I say that I cannot fucking stand Jimmy Kimmel anymore? Yeah. Like the, the, the shit that the motherfucker says on his show, like does, does no one fucking remember that this motherfucker used to run a show called the man show and dress up in fucking blackface on every blackface and have why, girls on trampolines <laughs> why yeah why is jimmy kimmel the only motherfucker to dress in blackface like massively yeah. it, it, who who doesn't get canceled and nobody talks about it i gotta refine this this video and send it to you travis i may have sent it i don't know if i sent it to Jess ron or if i put it in the obh sports group chat but i, I found a thing on reddit where some Italian woman trained her husky to say gabagool. Oh, hell yeah. Yeah. <laughs> it says it like over and over and over again. It's fucking amazing. It's really funny. I wonder if I could trade uh wonder if I can train motherfucker Jones to say gabagool. That's that's my daughter's cat, by the way. No, motherfucker Jones. <laughs> yeah. Motherfucker Jones. Motherfucker Jones. <laughs> that was he Motherfucker was... Jones was from uh, Horrible Bosses, right? Yeah, it was Jimmy yeah. Fox. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> Hey, dudes, I have to hop off here. Um, yeah, go ahead. Yeah, you go. go ahead. Uh, I will talk to you soon, though. Yeah, man. All right, All right dudes. Good All catching right, take up care, man. Good seeing you. Yep. Yeah, you too. All right, later. Glad later. you're back. Yes. Glad to be back.